What's good, my flipping power director peeps? Today, I'm going to show all of my power director students how to spin videos on a dime using power director. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use power director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. I want to officially thank Optodata from the Power Director forum for showing me how to make this effect. The link to the forum thread, including the instructions, is in the video description. When you're done watching this tutorial, you'll be able to rotate a video on a horizontal plane. It creates a smooth rotation over time instead of just flipping a video in the opposite direction. Let's get twisted. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to right click on this clip and I'm going to go to edit clip keyframe. And then I'm going to go to clip attributes. Now on the left hand side, I'm going to scroll down until I get to the freeform section. Once I get here, I'm going to go ahead and place a keyframe right at the beginning under freeform. And then I'm going to move my playhead to the three second mark. And at this position, I'm going to go ahead and set some new keyframe positions. So for the top left, I'm going to go ahead and change this to 0 0.5 for the X and for the Y. I'm going to go ahead and change it to 0 0.1 and hit enter. Then I'm going to go ahead and go down to the top right position. I'm going to change it to 0 0.5 for the X. And for the Y, I'm going to change it to zero and hit enter. Then bottom left, you guessed it. X is going to be 0 0.5. We want it right in the middle. And then the Y is going to be 0 0.9 and we'll hit enter. And then bottom right, 0 0.5, enter. And the Y is going to be one, hit enter. Now, you can't see the clip anymore. It's gone because at this keyframe, all of the free transform positions have been changed. So if I go back to the first keyframe, this is where it started off. And if I scrub the timeline, you'll see it's rotating to get to that other position that we created at three seconds. So it's actually rotating the clip. So I'm going to place my playhead right back at this keyframe by clicking on this keyframe and making sure that this is where I'm at. And now I'm going to go ahead and split my clip by doing control T. The clip is not flipped in the opposite direction. So I need to flip my canvas at this position where you can't see anything because right here in the middle, we're going to need to start to rotate it and have it facing the other direction. So I got to flip my canvas around. So to do that, I'm going to go up here to effects. I'm going to go to style effect. I'm going to go to visual and then I'm going to go to flip canvas. I'm going to hold down my left mouse over this. Then I'm going to drag it down to this second clip and let it go. So now that I have flipped it over, we need to make it rotate the rest of the way around. So I'm going to right click on this second clip and I'm going to go to edit clip keyframe and clip attributes. So once again, I'm going to scroll down to the free form position and I already have a keyframe here because there was a keyframe when I started, when I split the clip. So now I need to go ahead and change these parameters to go ahead and start to rotate it out. So for the X position, I'm going to leave it at 0.5. I'm just going to change the Y to zero and hit enter. And then for the top right, I'm going to go ahead and change the Y position to 0 0.1 and hit enter. And for the bottom left, I'm going to go ahead and change the Y position to one and hit enter. And then for the bottom right, I'm going to change the Y position to 0 0.9 and hit enter. So that'll start it flipping in the opposite direction. But now I need to move my playhead to the position where I want it to be full screen again. So I'm going to go ahead and move my playhead to three seconds again. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and set the position keyframes here back to the original so that it's flat on the screen again. So for the top left, it's going to be zero for the X. I'm going to leave the Y at zero. And then for the top right, it's going to be one for the X and the Y will be zero. And then for the bottom left, the X is going to be zero and we'll leave the Y at a one. And then for the bottom right, the X will be one and the Y will be one and that should have it full screen again. So now once again, if I go ahead and scrub my timeline, you'll see it's rotating the rest of the way. So it's rotating the rest of the way out and then it's staying on the screen like that. So let's go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go ahead and click on an empty part of the timeline, hit the home key on my keyboard. And now we can play this back and see what it looks like. I'm flipping out. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.